you know, it does follow the money supply. So the money supply expands, Bitcoin follows it, it trails it by about eight to 12 weeks. So it catches up to it and you can see, you know, how that, uh, how that correlation is. Breaking news, the global M2 officially hits a new all time high. Bitcoin tends to follow suit. And just to clue everybody in, what is the M2? M2 is a broad measure of the money supply that includes M1, which is cash, checking accounts, and traveler's checks, basic money in the system, plus savings deposits, money market funds, and other easily accessible but not immediately spendable assets. And the money supply is growing. So how does that affect Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin has about an 82% correlation to the M2, and it also lags by 10 weeks, 8 to 12 weeks. We see that in the data throughout history. And while it's not an exact correlation, why only 82%? Why not 95%? Well, because certain big crypto-specific events throughout history tends to pull the correlation off either to the positive or the negative. So we see the Bitcoin price in white since 2014 and the M2 supply in pink since 2014. And remember, there's about a 10 week lag. So the money supply pops first and then Bitcoin tends to follow about 10-ish weeks later. Many macro investing experts agree. <laughs>